Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about barn wedding venues in Hampshire. I love to photograph barn weddings and I have photographed quite a few in and around Hampshire. What I've noticed is that you can actually categorize these barns into three different types. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back for those of you who know me already. And for those who don't, my name is Jenny. I am a wedding and portrait photographer based in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. My style can be and has been described as relaxed and natural. And so I seem to end up shooting a lot of barn weddings. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the different types of barn weddings that I've noticed. And I will give you my top examples of these. I do have a much more extensive list of barns in Hampshire on my website. I have a blog post about that, which I will link in the description box down below. So do have a look at that later on after you finish this video, if you'd like to see a bigger list. Okay, so first up is your typical barn. It's what you would typically think of as a barn. It has a high rustic ceiling, exposed brickwork, thick wooden buttresses and beams. Um, it's usually on a working farm or a small farming type of village. There's fields around it usually. And basically I've found that these types of barns are usually dry hire wedding venues i.e. it's a blank canvas where you have to bring everything in yourself. I did make a video about dry hire wedding venues so I will link that up here for you. So basically because you are bringing in everything yourself then this is an opportunity to really put your personality stamp on the barn with your decorations and furnishings. My favourite example is Michaelmas... Uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. Michaelmas... My favourite example is Michaelmarsh Barn and Bonham's Barn, although I think sadly Bonham's Barn is actually going to be stopping trading very soon. And typically I've noticed that these types of barns hold a limited amount of weddings each year. So either you need to know somebody locally who know of these barns or you really have to be organised well beforehand in order to get a booking at one of these barns. Now, in contrast to this kind of dry hire barn wedding venue is the managed barn wedding venue or what I also like to think is the luxury barn wedding venue. So basically these barns are already well established wedding venues by themselves. They are an entity or a business by themselves. They are typically restored to a very high standard. I've been to ones with beautiful floor to ceiling glass walls, marble flooring with underfloor heating so that you can hold your weddings there in winter and still be cozy, but still have those tall ceilings and exposed beams. So if you are craving a little bit of that rustic look, but want things to be a bit more polished and comfortable, especially um, maybe in the colder months like autumn and winter, or you just want somewhere where you don't have to worry about bringing everything in yourself, then the managed barn or the luxury wedding barn might be for you. So some of the sample photos and videos that I've shown you are of Rivervale Barn and the Tithe Barn at Petersfield. And the last category is what I call the alternative use barns or the barns that are actually attached to something else and used for something else. For these barns, you typically get the look of a barn with beams and high ceilings, but they may be used for something else too, like the great barn at Titchfield, which is the theatre, or the barn is actually attached to something else that's um, maybe a hotel or a golf course. Examples of these are Norton Park Hotel, which is a 16th century barn, as well as a manor house, as well as a modern hotel building. Examples of barns attached to golf courses are Skylark Golf and Country Club and East Horton Golf Club. So that's it. This video is short and sweet. Do look at the blog post down below if you would like a longer list of examples and with more photos. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. It would really help me out and I really would appreciate it. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye.